Hello, this is your Ukrainian friend again. How are you guys? Uh, thank you for watching this. I appreciate you. I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about the consequences that, uh, you know, that happened to Russia and will continue damaging them even though they weren't expecting <coughs> this. They just thought that Ukraine will just give up, you know, and, and put the arms down and people will be welcoming the military like what they were told when they're coming to Ukraine with open arms and flowers, uh-huh. Things didn't go as planned, Putin, right? Um, so, you know, Russians keep lying about their casualties, which their casualties are like, they're saying it's only 1,300 people. Meanwhile, even NATO has already estimated it to be 15,000. So, you know that Ukrainian government is not lying about that estimate. But I think it's honestly much higher because 15,000, it was like almost two weeks ago. And if you're wounded, if you account for captured and surrendered Russian soldiers, I, I think it's, you know, over 20,000, probably over 30,000 or even more, because our president was talking, Zelensky was talking how uh, the struggle that we're having right now is that we never prepare for a situation like that. So we don't really like have infrastructure or like where to store all of those soldiers, you know, and you have to feed them, you know, and take care of them. Um, so, yeah, that's one thing. They're losing a lot, you know, and they can't replenish it because you can't train a soldier in one day, you know, and all of their highly trained soldiers, I think, are probably already gone. So the second good point is that the Ukrainians absolutely hate Russians now. Like, we didn't like them to begin with, but we were like, oh, it's our brother country, they're not attacking us, we're working with them together, like, it's okay. Even though, historically, they've always been trying to kill us, they've always been committing genocides and tricking us into treaties that wouldn't work out and then they would just come attack us next day. So we didn't forget that, like, history speaks for itself. So now we hate them as even more than ever. Um, because of they killed civilians, destroyed our towns, you know, it's understandable they came to your country, did that, you wouldn't like them either. But I feel like now the whole world hates them. Um, then, another point is that the Russian economy is going to a deep recession because of all of the sanctions. And I'm sure Putin didn't expect that to happen. And, you know, this is going to be a long term issue for them. <clears throat> and then Europe is dropping their energy and trying to find other sources, even though Russia invests a lot of money and try to bring more gas to Europe. And Russia united the West, you know, the world is more united than ever and we'll win this war. Slava